now let's make sure we do it old school pool. You look like a chav this week, Nick. I look what? You got a new filler windbreaker, have you? Fila windbreaker. Fila, I have, but. Fila fish, you have. Yeah, I had it all vinted. Oh, yeah. It's like somebody else's as well, is it? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's, it is more like, it's brand new, but. Isn't it mad <laughs> fucking, like, saying nowadays, oh, it's all vinted? Well, a couple yeah. of years ago saying, I'm wearing a second-hand windbreaker, it means you were fucking dirt poor. Yeah, how, many, yeah. how many grams of coke have been sold in that jacket? Like, there's <laughs> a hole in the pocket. So I don't know where I was where they used to get lined. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, it's we got a guest. Cocaine, man. <laughs> <laughs> we got a guest this week. We got Govid. Hello. So Govid uh, is, is that right? Govid. 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 Yeah. It's like happy Covid, isn't it? Call it Gov for short. <laughs> if you want. <laughs> Dot Gov, like. <laughs> Dot gov. <laughs> now he's had some problems with the dot gov. Oh yeah. yeah. Um. So I was. I was. We were in school together years ago, weren't we? Yeah. And we hadn't spoken for a long time, and I got chatting to his uncle, and I was like, "All right, what's he been up to?" And he's like, "Oh, fucking hell." Uh, did you want to? Do you want to say what you've been up to since school? Um. Oh Christ. Uh. So I started a band. Got his elder. Yeah. And then I got into a spot of trouble. <laughs> a spot, eh? Because, yeah. of, because of the band or just you got in trouble? Um, because of a t shirt I made. Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so basically, um, I'll tell you what the shirt is in a sec, but I had my flat pretty much raided by about seven police officers. Yeah. Because uh, I made a t shirt that said, Burn your local holiday home. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I think I it's know. pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you I'd fucking ten he's ridden. Yeah. I'd wear it. <laughs> no, no, fucking. So I didn't realize um, Welsh nationalist death metal was a genre until I saw your band. Oh, I thought so. Like the EP, uh... yeah. We had um. <laughs> well, I say we. It's mostly me. Like I had like a lot of shit when I first came out. Yeah. Right. So like obviously like in black metal and like probably most circles like nationalist isn't a great word to use. Right. Okay. So. I put it on there, and everyone's like, start calling me a Nazi. <laughs> there is a lot of Nazism in black metal. There, yeah. there's a, like, there is a lot of it. Yeah. It's like, yeah. But then they're like, they start like, nitpicking, they're like, oh, why are you using like, a white and red font, like the bloody German uh, flat, like swastika flag? Like, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, fuck. Did I? And then like, it was limited to like 33 <laughs> copies of like, a set, like 33. That's the like, Hitler going into power in the German National Party. Do you not realize that? I'm like, what the fuck do you fuck, mean? Like, oh, how so did I make like, that connection? Illuminati is real life. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> Let's be fair though, if you are listening to fucking underground black metal, you are schizophrenic though, you know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These, are, these, are, these are white chalkboard people. <laughs> chalkboard people? <laughs> They're drawing conclusions. That was like, I had to mute my phone at one point because I couldn't get to sleep because my phone just kept blowing up. Like, it had like 300 comments of people saying, like, Why are you such a Nazi for? Like, <laughs> you become an online Nazi. Yeah, but like, who are these people? people? It's just like people like in a, like a, like a black metal group. Right. Okay. And so they were just like, fuck, what were they saying? Like, they were just saying, like, oh, like, why are you proud to be Welsh? And then, like, people just call me, like, oh, why wouldn't you be? Yeah. yeah. Like, why wouldn't you be proud to be fucking English or Scottish or Irish? Like, yeah. Like, you know, mo- like most of my music. Proud of your heritage and not be yeah. racist. Yeah. People like, take things way too seriously, especially on the internet these days. Like, oh. they just attach their entire identity to one thing. They're like, you know, fucking snowflakes, oh. but all of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you had people going like, oh, sheep shagging black metal. I'm like, God, I wish you called the album man instead. Yeah, that's yeah. fucking great. <laughs> yeah, no, why are you so racist? I know, I'll throw the most fucking common racist thing to say to a best friend. Yeah. Like, sheep shagging for. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. Double standards. Yeah. So, <laughs> at what point was it? Was it when the police were kicking down the door? It's like, oh shit, am I racist? <laughs> it was like, like, oh God, like, because I used to work nights in a nightclub. Like, I, like, I even used to wake up at like one o'clock in the afternoon. Mm. So it's like just about to turn nine o'clock in the morning. Like, I didn't knock on my door. I'm like, oh, it's a postman. It's my job and something off, whatever. At least and I knocked. <laughs> yeah, at least I did knock. Like, they knocked a few times, to be fair, before trying my door handle. What? Yeah. But, what uh, they knocked. They, they, <laughs> they knocked. They knocked, they, they knocked 33 times. It must be those neo socialists. <laughs> <laughs> <like>, uh, <laughs> one of them like, was born in 1988. He's definitely a Nazi. <laughs> <laughs> 
But then, like, oh. they just start pounding on my door and trying to do a handle. I'm like, oh, shit, what's that? So I open the door. The first thing I see, like, you know, like, when something like that happens, the like, time just stops. Yeah. <laughs> I had that. I look down at, like, one of the shirts. It just says Heathley. I'm like, why does it say Welsh for police? Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> you, were, you were living in England at the time, weren't you? I was in Sheffield, yeah. <laughs> what the Welsh Wait, so, so the Welsh... Sheffield. Yeah, what the fuck? Did they... so the, the, the Welsh FBI were after then. Yeah, so like the <laughs> North Welsh police had to travel like two or three hours to come to Sheffield to arrest me. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. mad. What the fuck? Yeah, but it's they like must, they must it's an international these, crime, but it's like yeah. <laughs> it's like, like people set up, like, beer, like. <laughs> it's like when you watch Breaking Bad, but it's like they go over the border to Mexico because the Mexican police got to fucking handle an American case, like oh, yeah. you have to extract <laughs> you from foreign soil, like. Yeah. <laughs> was there, like the, was there like slightly different lighting as well, so you could tell that you're in? <laughs> <laughs> well, the CP attend behind you. They were sick of dealing with Nicky fucking selling fake Fila shirts. On this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, let's go deal with some terrorism. Uh, South Wales police had a tit full of raiding people's attics for their tiny little crops. Like, yeah, what the fuck? And they said seven of them to get you as well. Like, yeah, that's just like, like a fucking day out from or something. What the fuck? Uh, was, is this mad? Oh, they said seven police out were a suspected terrorist, but they send like four fucking vanfuls of people to take down a fucking weed dealer. Like, <laughs> oh, he sells drugs. He's got to have an armory in there. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, this guy's racist. Yeah, he got this guy could be a terrorist. Ah, yeah, he might have a bomb. Don't he? Was just send seven of the best. Yeah, pack his sandwiches. Take off with the It's a day out. Day out the office. <laughs> for a hours, like. Wasn't it? Wasn't it uh, when Corpse Grinder from? Um, What's it? Uh, Carnival Corpse. Ca- uh, Carnival mm-hmm. Corpse. Didn't he get raided and they found skulls and... No, I mean, there's a guitarist. Tar- guitarist, yeah. and, guitar player. They've, they've got and that song. I, I, I've got skulls and guns in my house. Yeah. I know, they've raided his house because he got actual human skulls. Yeah, Which but is, one of the songs is called, like, I've got skulls in my basement or something. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. I think it it's fucking mad. Yeah, he had his house yeah. turned upside down. I'm going to end up raiding so one of my friends soon because he's got like a collection of human skulls as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, right? I'm pretty sure it is illegal to own an actual real human skull. There's, uh, I don't actually know. I hope I haven't just dropped it with a shit line. Just tell yeah, yeah, yeah. it's made out of ivory and it's carved really well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Going off. Ca- ca- carved ivory, that other thing that's illegal. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> only after a certain <laughs> date. <laughs> It'd be from like how the old, 60s or something. How old is yeah. that fucking elephant you killed? So what happened after they... No. I, I want to go back. I do. I want to like. I want to picture the scene of like. Oh, I just want to go to bed, and then all, all right. of a sudden it was like boom, open up FBI. So COVID, like COVID, just 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 for my own personal image. You know everything you've described, like working in a nightclub, and yeah. lying in bed and stuff. You wearing corpse painted all of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like how like black metal musician was your was was your house as well? Like oh, uh, it wasn't because I was living with my. Like fiance at the time, like my house was not black metal at all. Like it's her deco design. So. Oh, all right, so, yeah, they, they, they thought that they thought they were going to kick the door in of a grave robber. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> He's got live laugh love on this yeah, fucking wall. Yeah, got live laugh love on the wall and a fucking except, crushed except, velvet teddy and a Frenchie. Like except, except Garvid uh, put put his own touch. He said, "Live laugh love and die. Yeah. die. Live laugh and collect human skulls." <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like I got it. Like what I was wearing at the time was great. Like so, I had like a Dark Souls T-shirt on and like Cookie Monster pajamas. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Well, the power stance move that is. Uh, it's, I I was shitting myself though. So like I saw like Heather thought, oh fuck, it's like the police. And then the next thing I was like, get on the ground, get on the ground. I, I don't remember if they pushed me if I fell over. Next thing I know, I'm on the floor. Like, yeah, I, I, I just like I shit. Take on me. Myself. It's too much. I got my fiance screaming in like the next room because she thinks like I don't know what she thinks happening. Um, and every absent situation, or just a screaming woman oh. in the distance, does it? Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, lying on the lying on the floor, it's like I'm going to sample that for the next ambient track. Yeah, <laughs> the next intro to the next album. And then, like, they put me in handcuffs and like, get up, get up. I'm like, oh shit! Like, and then they read me what I've done. I'm like, like they had to say it twice because like, the first time I was just like in panic mode. And then they're like, oh yeah, you're under arrest for inciting criminal damage and arson. I'm like, what the fuck? Are that? And then I realised, oh, it's that box of ten T-shirts that I've already sold five of on my kitchen counter, like. <laughs> Wow. So surely, like something must have happened for them to come and arrest you. Surely, right. what it was, and they told me this like when I got my stuff back. Yeah. I, had, I had to travel to like North of Wales to get my stuff back. Hmm. They're like, I am. I might have. Silly of me. I, I said, following in the footsteps of my Bjorn Glyndura. 
which if you don't know who my Uncle Endura are, they're responsible for burning down like 200 English holiday homes and stuff in England and Wales. <laughs> yeah. like the 60s to like the 80s. Just right in the wave off, have you? <laughs> I, th- I thought it was a little tongue-in-cheek joke, like. To be fair. Yeah, yeah. just be patriotic, it's, like. It's just yeah. homage it's just... to our fucking forefathers <laughs> and terrorism. <laughs> And I just like they say they said to me like oh we've had eyes on you since June I've got arrested since like September I'm like you had oh, eyes on me for like oh, three months like a teacher oh, so, yeah, so you hear the spying on what, you what, now. What, what do you think <laughs> I, it's just like so I, I feel, oh it's just mad so you you released an edgy T-shirt which is a fucking funny T-shirt and so did this go to court or anything it went to the Crown Prosecu- Prosecution Service which is like. But, like the police thought they had enough on me to send her there, and the Crown Prosecution yeah. Service luckily said, "Like, oh, like this fuck all you, like give him a shit back." Yeah. <laughs> but that took. I got arrested in September, and I got my stuff back in. Or I got like the call saying, "Like, oh, like you good in like yeah. February." So that is so much stress, man. So I'm sorry. Oh, it's mad. Like me and it's... Dylan were talking about like the um like the effect it has on you. Yeah. Is it like have we got a criminal record for now? Like... I don't have a record for it. No, I. No, like it might be like something like oh like suspicion of something but like i've not been done for like i've not been charged for anything yeah it, it yeah. wouldn't be a problem unless you got caught doing something so you're never yeah, going to be able yeah. to work in an airport then no <laughs> <laughs> also in black metal maker please yeah <laughs> hey sorry only 35 mil of liquids yeah yeah <laughs> i not enough to burn down a holiday home like i don't know what you're doing <laughs> yeah but like you say you're not know about all these, who's gonna like look in a charge anyone or whatever for um, terrorism? Well, like one of my favorite clothing brands, one of their t shirts says on it, Burn your local church. Yeah, that's so, what like, one, of, one of their prints is Burn your local church. And they're like, you know, no disrespect to it, but they're probably a bigger platform of a clothing brand than probably what your t shirts like, were at the time. Like, operated on like my flat, basically. Yeah. <laughs> I, had, like, I told the police, like, in the interview with the police, I said, like, look, like, it's just a parody T-shirt. Like, yeah. it's like the same, like, kind of like design. I don't know if you guys have seen the shirt on it. I haven't seen your shirt. No. though. I'll show you how I'll the image, you know. Yeah. Have we got any left in a double XL? Because I'll buy one. <laughs> well, if we head over to weselder.bandcamp.com, you can find. <laughs> what a plug! Excellent plug! Excellent plug! <laughs> oh, class! But no, I was in um jail for like, like they put me in a hold in cell for like seven hours. That's fucking wild. I had like a two hour interview and then like my friend who's like a police officer said like yeah you usually like an interview is like half hour at most like for it to be two hours they're definitely trying to pin something on you yeah, yeah. they're just trying to get you to grass yourself up really yeah and yeah. they can make an example of you when as well so you can't if they get something to stick that's what my solicitor because I had a solicitor like mm. they asked like do you want one I was like a oh, fucking yes obviously yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they do these solicitors they call them and I think the ones they got on call a retainer yeah <laughs> so <laughs> I had he knows his thing about uh, <laughs> <laughs> he knows his rights <laughs> <laughs> I know my rights <laughs> so my solicitor reckons that like they were just trying to like appease like someone because apparently they'd been like and a particular like, people like scratching like the my being Glendora initials on like people's caravans and stuff Oh, which I didn't know about. Like I tried googling it after. Like I just couldn't find I anything. Find anything. It. Yeah, it's probably just one person with one caravan. Yeah, <laughs> that's just complained four hundred times. <laughs> I'm saying I'd buy a t-shirt. I've just changed my mind because I've just realised I know a lot of gypsies. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think traveling. Yeah, I don't think that class is a holiday home. Holiday homes, man. <laughs> They're home homes. <laughs> home homes. Oh, so someone's gone around Butlins, like, oh, no, Butlins, they're fucking Park Dean or something, scratching fucking... <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> He's just band logo on all the caravans, like... They've been on Treco Bay doing it, like, haven't they? Yeah. <laughs> fucking hell. You know? I can oh, imagine man. how much more trouble it would have been if somebody had just fallen through and lit one on fire. Oh, God, I don't want to think about it, because, like, the yeah. thing they're trying to get me on was not that I told people to do it, but, like, people might be influenced by the shirt. Yeah. 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 Inciting. Yeah. So, it was, like, it did, like, I only just learned recently, like, North Wales is where, like, the terrorism division is for Wales mostly. Right. But, it, like, they told me, like, it went all the way to, like, the terrorist division to see if, like, there were any links. And they said, like, <laughs> if my Dwayne Glendora, my Dwayne Glendora class is a, I, I think it's just classed as, like, a fringe nationalist group, not even, like, extremist or terrorism. Yeah. yeah. But I got told, like, if they were classed as a terrorist group, I would not have gone home that night. That's oh, fucking mental. Yeah. Yeah. For a t-shirt. For a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. I, it's it's just it's a mad bit of fun, the, uh, Yeah, it's it's mad in the UK the... though, isn't it? It's like um, talking on the weekend. We were comparing it to the um, 
Kandankula situation, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking pug, wasn't it? Yeah. Doing a naughty. <laughs> Doing naughty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doing the funniest thing that? you can make a pug do. Uh, Count Dankler, <laughs> he, he taught his Mrs. Dog to Heil Hitler. Right. And yeah, and he got like, like sued and everything, didn't he? Like, yeah, didn't no, he, it was like a massive fucking court case on it. He, he um, got done for the end, didn't he? I think he did. No, I think, I think he got away with it um, in the end. Is um, he the guy that's dead? No. <laughs> He's a Scottish blogger, looks like Pete, man. Oh, there's a the shirt. <laughs> there's the shirt. Fuck yeah. That's good, though. <laughs> yeah. The original didn't have the um the band logo. Yeah. No? So they, 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 they were saying, like, why didn't you have your band logo on? It's like, it just looked nicer without it, to be fair. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, your band was... logo looks more racist than that. Maybe I'll go down. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a little Nicky Conservatory on it. That's where he records his podcast. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's coming to you live from my burning holiday home. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, I got you. Oh. So they they were asking me questions like um where face paint and like why do you use like a pseudonym and stuff and like it's why use or like cool. anonymous that's pretty, pretty much what I said I'm like yeah. it's just part of like the subgenre to do that like, yeah. Yeah. it's like they've never seen fucking kiss before do you know what I mean his big is like eight design like. <laughs> I pretty much said like it's like kiss like you yeah. like the way face paint or like Alice Cooper or like yeah. Arthur Brown yeah. or like anything like that it's the yeah. doomy aesthetics isn't it? yeah what else did they ask me they asked me um like they obviously asked me if I like support any of the groups. I'm like, no. Nah, he's just like, nah, just enjoy their work. Just enjoy work. <laughs> yeah, just enjoy their work. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to think what else. And they say, oh, why would you cut your hair, you goth? <laughs> yeah, can you imagine get, hey, you getting, goth, bullied, yeah. Yeah, getting bullied in school for being alternative, like both of us did. And then yeah. you become an adult and it's like, oh shit, the police are bullying me for being alternative. <laughs> 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 I'd be victimized. The police are questioning my choice of clothing. Just like, <laughs> you know, yeah, my cookie monster pajamas. <laughs> yeah. We dress like our four end. Why do you always be black for? You goth, yeah. <laughs> oh, the other thing they tried to get me on was like the lyrics. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So yeah. I made a song called Kroski Buriadol, which... In English means arson. Yeah. Because it was about the group. Because, like, I sat, I sing about, like, Abavan, I sing about, like, the Rebecca riots, the Mirtha riots, like, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And they're like, why did the lyrics burn it down? Not burnt it down. I'm like, it doesn't sound right. Like, <laughs> burnt it down. Yeah, burnt, burnt. I'm like, that doesn't sound right. Like, yeah. It's like, come on, man. It's got to have some musicality to it. Yeah. It's called creative license in it. <laughs> I, remember, I remember at one point they're like, so I've had to listen to your music. And I'm like, I just automatically, I think I just went, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <I get> that. <laughs> that must have at least got a laugh off of one of them or oh what i've smiled just that's like, right, <laughs> they're asking like do you hate english people i'm like no like my family yeah, is like, english i live in england married the enemy like what the fuck yeah <laughs> sleeping with the enemy kind of thing yeah i was like it's like a nazi guy or fucking sons of anarchy ends up marrying a mexican woman <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh. is it that <laughs> it's mad the stupid questions they've got to ask on it. It's like, yeah. would they just... I've got to ask them to just yeah. get it online. Do you reckon they were just ticking boxes because someone complained or they genuinely think they get into the bottom or something? I, I genuinely think it was just like to make someone happy. Like, oh, we got him. We got that yeah. nationalist guy. And like, <laughs> they took um, like a bunch of like my, like they took, obviously they took my computer and like my external hard drive. They took a USB stick that was plugged into my Xbox 360 for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's they took um, a bunch of, he's, he's got a <laughs> <Yeah>. Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Game shark like. <laughs> they took my, they took my phone and everything related to the band. They even took like a book I had, like Welsh Myths and Legends, in case I was influenced <laughs> by any of that. Fuck <laughs> Maybe if it was like fun, fucking sure they're going to gonna like chase down the fucking person who wrote the fucking book that's influenced it. Yeah. Because it can't just fucking yeah, barrel on, can it? Yeah. Like, yeah. But this is probably yeah. where like all this like free speech, like all like trying to impose laws on it's become so convoluted because like literally where does that stop? Like, that was a well, fucking mad word that was spatch. I scratched the back of my eyeballs and said that then. <laughs> what, <laughs> what, what was it? Convoluted. Fucking hell. Fuck yeah. Right, I, remember, bro. I remember oh, something uh, when I was like thinking about like when Dylan asked me to come on like the <laughs> podcast. And I was thinking like I remember when I got my stuff back and like like giving my hard drive back. I was like, oh sorry, I never give because I had to give him the password for my phone so you get into my phone. And all your head dice gone, like. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I, yeah. I, I, I don't give, yeah. <laughs> give him the password for my external hard drive. Yeah. Mm. They said like oh like, they don't need passwords. No, they don't yeah, I, they, nah, they cracked the yeah. door. And then he went like 
I was like, I was like, did you have to look through like the music I've got on it? And he went, yeah, like there's two days of my life I'm never getting back. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. <laughs> you know. It's mad though, because it's somebody's job out there to do exactly what they've did with you, but with pedophiles. Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Oh, oh, yeah, they've yeah. got to go through all their shit and categorize it and everything. Their Mondays fucking, must be fucking awful. Fuck, oh. Fucking dream job. Oh, yeah, I mean, terrible, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine going home and being like, how was your day at work, love? Yeah, I just don't want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I don't think they're legally allowed to either, to be honest with you. Uh, no, no way. <laughs> That's between them and the therapist, isn't it? <laughs> fucking hell. Uh, I want to know what you, he had to do. Like what he had to do with all the um the bands that go downloaded. Like, did you have to listen to them or like just Wikipedia them yeah, or look look at like Spotify homepage? <laughs> no, they, they probably had to go through fucking everything. And if they couldn't understand what was being said, they probably had to then like research the band and try and pull yeah. out fucking lyrics and stuff like that. Because I had to How explain like yeah, go on. I had to explain like obviously like the history of black metal because obviously like the church burners and the murders and stuff. Yeah, they, 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 to the police, like. <laughs> yeah, they seemed like really surprised when like I mentioned all of them. Like, have you guys not done any like research into like yeah, yeah, yes. like, like at all the origins. Well, um, I used to work with a death metal band. Do you know Desecration? Yeah, yeah. And um, when they first released an album in the nineties, um, they got it recorded, and it was like recorded on tape. Um, or it may have been see whatever. They only had one master copy of it, floppy disk. <laughs> and they sent it to a replicator to get the multiple copies made. And they listened to the content, and they read the lyrics, and. They burned the original master, you know, the only copy of that music, and got in contact with the police because of the obscene lyrical content. Did you ever but see the album art for it? No. They, like, they sold, like, later on, like, oh God, it must have been, like, five or so years ago now. They yeah. sold the CDs, like, the original cover? Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, how do I describe this nicely? Uh, I can't. I, I would not, but I, album, I, I would not can't. bring it up to, like, show people, like, kind of... I'm it's like currently googling it. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah, sure you've told me a story about Desecration's fucking album covers before. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this uh, and the lyrical content and yeah. all sorts. Um, but that's but, like the point of bands like that, wasn't it? Yeah, it's meant to be divisive and offensive and stuff. Yeah. But it was like Ozzy Osbourne said when he first like on when Black Sabbath said like, "You go, you pay to watch scary movies." So yeah. why not listen to scary music? Why yeah. not, like, you know, horror music. We can have yeah. a horror film. Why can't have horror music? There are horror books. You know, everything else. But then you listen to horror music and you're like, oh, fucking hell, there's something wrong with this guy. I think <laughs> it's probably because, like, music is, especially these days, is so accessible and a song is like three minutes in it. You know, like, you're going to have to, like, sit down and watch a film or something or, like, read a book. I think people probably get pissed off by, like, how quick. But, like, at the same time, that shouldn't really be an argument. You know what I mean? Like... Mm. Yeah, some some things have mature like warnings and stuff on them, but like as long as you're over the legal age, you should be fine. If you don't like that, then just don't listen to it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm looking at the place, that. Shit I'm like that, that. enticed me to do it when I was a kid. But yeah, oh, yeah. I'd see a warning. It's the naughty stick, isn't it? Bad yeah, point. yeah. So you can't touch daddy's medicine. Like, yeah. oh fucking hell, I want to touch daddy's medicine. Loads of people came out like... after that and said that actually done more good than what it stopped because like it was yeah. like the, the edgy thing to do then is to buy those explicit CDs. Like, yeah, it was the thing when it back in the eighties and it was that person in fucking tip of go, was it? Yeah, uh, um, PMRC. Yeah, the PMRC. They started mm. the group tonight, and then um, D Snyder. Like, ah, fucking hell, those was, was lords. They went yeah. on for years, weren't it? Like yeah. they did it with like. In the 2000s, it was with Eminem. Like, he had a run-in with the PMRC, and then Judas Priest have had run-ins with them. And... Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, fucking hell. I'm trying to is. find that fucking uh, Desperation <laughs> album, Gore and Perversion. And mm. yeah, the album cover that originally came out in 96 says, Sorry, censored by the authorities. Original artwork can be <laughs> obtained from Ar Arctic Serenades on an mm. IRC. Is, Should we um... describe what it is? Yeah, cool. Yeah, like, like, it's, um... It's a guy skull fucking a dead baby. Ah, uh, yeah. Fair enough. It, yeah. That's, that sounds like desecration. Um, the, the, I think it's based on this song called Fontanelle Fornication. Ah, yeah. And I, yeah, yeah. And I was like a 20 year old when I was touring with them, and I was like, what's a fontanelle? And they're like, that's the soft spot on a baby's head. And I'm like, I don't no. think I want to hang out with you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what. There's like kind of a corpse album. It's like, you look at their fucking album art. Well, they got butchered a birth. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's all the cat cattle decapitation shit it's just yeah, but it's like, I look at that and I just laugh at just how mental and obscene it is yeah because it's just it it's so many it doesn't do nothing for me I don't think oh that's cool I want to reenact that fucking yeah. thing like 
it's so many levels like... above like normal violence it just doesn't even seem real you know what I mean like yeah, there's a guy I used to follow on TikTok I, I assume I still follow him I just haven't even come up my algorithm for a long time and he had gone to like six or seven different tattoo artists to have the Butcher the Birth album cover the full size with fucking torso oh god yeah uh, he'd gone through a few later on like I'm not fucking doing that that's fucking mental <laughs> he found a guy but I just I think he just got lucky and I I think somewhere down the line, the guy who turned out to be like a Hannibal Corps fan, he was like, oh, I've always wanted to like, do something that's fucking absurd. And he like vlogged the whole thing of him going back and forth for his tattoo sessions. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. His reaction then, like showing it to people in the street that I was fucking wild. Like, <laughs> oh. Fucking flashing out of like, it's yeah, fucking words of flop and a cock. And crosses and I tattooed all over his face and shit. Like, and he's just oh, like, oh, what do you think about your tattoo? He's like, there's a jacket. Like, fuck me, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> he's like, um, my sister was asking me before we were driving somewhere and she was like how can you listen to that type of music when you don't know you can't understand what the words are being said and I was like that's half the thing over there like you've got to research like you know, you know don't have a look at the, the lyrics for these songs and stuff or like, you can go on YouTube and then they put the videos up with the lyrics and stuff like that and then you think fucking hell this is mad even though it's just sounds mad all the gnarly screaming and the funny noises and stuff but when you like yeah. look look up the words and what they're trying to scream out and stuff I so they put on like yeah they put on like a YouTube video and I go back to the house of like an infant annihilate the song but it was the fucking kids and she was like this is fucking not <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good though it? it's good though it's mental because like, I've listened to that shit for ages yeah and I, tur- I turned into a proper conservative dad the other day and there was like a song that Billie Eilish was a guest on and this girl was singing about what colours you're underwear and I was like that's inappropriate that is yeah oh it's Charlie X X no yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was just like, ah, oh, you can't be singing about stuff like that, man. Can't be yeah, it's like no, a yeah, it's fucking. Yeah, it's. they decided <laughs> that you couldn't um, play the the Christmas song with the progs in. Ah, oh, but that's the magic. The that... jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the magical Christmas F word you can say, but once a year in the spirit. Yeah, but it's <laughs> not then, LA, But it was like that year, like number one was fucking. Hardy B's whap wet ass pussy is like oh yeah you can't, you can't say them with faggot but there's a woman singing about her wet vagina yeah like because like, you know I mean? like, like people who like listen to that it'd be the ones complaining about metal and there's just no self awareness or like no. they can't just like objectively look and go okay maybe this no. is the same as that just different you know what I mean same yeah. kind of level of offensive but I don't like it but then, yeah when I first started seeing my message I played it um Event 7 for a little piece of heaven. Oh, that's yeah. like 15 minutes long, isn't it? And that's just like a story about a man killing his wife and then his fucking wife comes back and killing him. And then, oh, yeah. And then she was listening to I the can't car, imagine and... anything to dry up a pussy faster. <laughs> 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 oh, come, come here, baby. It's a 15 minute Avenged Sevenfold medley. Yeah. <laughs> and, it, and it finished. And she was like, well, that's worrying. <laughs> it's like, funny, on it? It's like, you no, know, it's not funny, it's worrying. It's like, ah, it's like, it's not real. Yeah, exactly. It's not real. It can't hurt. It was not real. That's fast. So, <laughs> so it went on for ages then, like this whole police case. And at the end, they just said, oh, sorry. Yeah, they pretty much just like, gave me a call like one morning when I was at work. And they just said like, oh yeah, like it's not going to court. Like you're good. I'm like, oh. Mm. Thanks for that. <laughs> Are you allowed like, now to like release these shirts and everything else? Or not? Yeah, yeah. They basically, when I got my stuff back, they gave me like the shirts back, and I was like, "Ah, oh, what? Am, what can I do with these?" They're like, "Oh, whatever you want. Like, charges are dropped. You could burn them <laughs> in your local holiday home." <laughs> <laughs> it was this shirt that set fire to a caravan. <laughs> You just like, need to add like another like update the teacher and just like add a stamp and say like okay but please yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah but have it in Welsh to keep with the aesthetic as well oh yeah <laughs> I should have had the whole shirt in Welsh I don't think anyone would fucking get it then yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. four people be able to read it no yeah. Oh, yeah, just yeah, to be like waiting with a test on someone and be like, oh, cool patriotic shirt, bro. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> just like, no, I fucking <laughs> I've had messages from people who have like worn the t-shirt like I've got places where like there are like a lot of like second homeowners and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And people have been stopped on the street for wearing my shirt. So like people be like, you can't wear that. And you're not allowed to wear them in 10 B Perth call. No. <laughs> you just be like, you can't gentrify the area, then Deborah, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> it's just my like never would have like when I because oh, the fucking thing is the person who designed the shirt is English. Mm. Right. It's the same person that does like the design, which I found out later. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, the person who designed the shirts was English. The person who printed the shirts for me was English. <laughs> and no and the only problem that people, the only people that had a problem there was the Welsh. The, the Welsh police, yeah. Wow. It's like, at no point did anyone think, oh, you know, this is, this is a bit 
too far. This is you might someone might come knocking at your door for that. Yeah. Uh, do you reckon I, it was kin some of those online kin oh, yeah. incel types who had a problem with your aesthetic? It was like, oh, I know what can really fuck him up. I'll get in touch with the police. You yeah. could probably track it and probably work out who it was. Look back and who was kicking off the most. Have a look yeah. at their profile, and they've probably done it to a couple of other people as well. I judge. Yeah, because people Google got for stuff like that. We'll Google them, see if they've got a caravan, and then we'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll pay him a visit with a fucking badge. <laughs> Can't what say how that's inciting. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not inciting anything. <laughs> I like the two matches. <laughs> imagine if we all got trouble. <laughs> I know. <laughs> uh, okay, like, the thing they said, like how they found me, was it's, it's the stupidest, like easiest thing they could have done. Basically, they're looking at people who were posting about my being Glendora. Yeah. They. They, they said they went on Facebook, just burned the search bar, and my post like one of the first ones that came up, and that's <laughs> how they found it. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, there must have been more to it then if they were looking at that and come across you. They were just looking for like anything to do with it. Like I I don't know like what who else has been done for I don't think anyone else has been done for it. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't you say they found the words like hatched onto people's Yeah, like the initials were like carved on like some people's like caravans or like on the front door or whatever. To be honest, just for the records, you were in England when this took place. Oh, yeah. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was, I was in a fucking haven resort at the time. <laughs> <laughs> you don't mind that, like him. <laughs> <laughs> the Charlie's <Charlotte laughs> like, Yeah, true. <laughs> it's oh, like the amount of shit I've been through with this band, like from like the people that call me Nazis. <laughs> and then, like, I've had people message me saying, like, because, like, a, on the insert, like on my album, it says like Welsh means belonging, no matter like what our color, our language, or religion, yeah. etc. Yeah. When I, I've had people complain to me like, "Oh, inclusivity is the enemy of the white people." Like, why don't you get them? Like, am I not racist enough for you as well? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, <laughs> to be fair, though, people, right? people just love complaining on them. Like, you yeah, are, yeah. You, and if you're, you're going to be too racist, ah, oh, you were not racist you... enough. <laughs> yeah. But to be fair, though, like if you're going to be in like a black metal band. You've got to have a bit of dark history behind it as well. So, like, like look at um, fucking. Oh, what's the thing? What's the band? Was it then the the Lords of Chaos film? But mayhem, oh, mayhem. Mayhem, mayhem, yeah, yeah, and mayhem. Like the main th- thing that drew me to like listen to mayhem was through the stories of the church burnings and the murders and stuff. And like, hmm. if somebody turned around and said to me, "Oh, there's this boy from Wales, right?" And he started his black metal band and then he got arrested then and on like suspicion of terrorism. I'd be like, it's a I massive fucking clout. listen to that. Like, this is like massive clout. Yeah, this is, <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. It's like Dylan's done me like, God, 20 years at this point. Mm. And like, I've said to Dylan, like, I'm the last person like you would have expected any of this to happen. To. <laughs> yeah, but, any, uh, but anybody that's ever gone into anything for anything awful. <laughs> Somebody has always said he is the last person I ever thought that would do something like that. Uh, Ian Watkins from Last Prophets, everyone was like, what the fuck? He would never do such a thing. I'm, I'm not sure I feel about being in the same league as Ian Watkins. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he's just the first like bad musician. Yeah, yeah, I get like, it. Uh, yeah, like fucking... Yeah, I'm... It's just... You, you can't fucking compare our guests to Ian Watkins. <laughs> yeah, how dare... I'm never coming back on the show. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Man. We're, we're trying to get more guests on this podcast. <laughs> uh, fair enough. I, yeah, it's, uh, he's just the first one to come to mind as like, being a bad person. Yeah, I, I don't think I'd help his music say as much, though. No. Yeah, yeah, my that's, too, yeah that, you know, that's going back to like people <laughs> saying, oh, you're a bad person, and I go, you're not bad enough. He was too bad, he was. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about getting that middle ground of being edgy yeah. and too edgy. A little bit yeah. racist, not too racist, though. Yeah, that's, too, that's far too edgy for me. It's called having a bit of spice in it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like chucking a bit of cayenne pepper in with your partner. <laughs> <laughs> a certain shit <laughs> pap. <laughs> a je ne sais quoi. quoi. <laughs> It's like when you leave your mayonnaise, get the room temperature, and it's got a bit of tang to it. Oh, <laughs> tangy mayo is the best. Fuck yeah. When, when, you, when the yogurt sets on the lid of your pot, like, so, oh, that's, got some, that's got some edge to it. Yeah, we've left the, when you've left your shopping in the car all day. <laughs> Chicken you really, It's just like, uh, epid. What are you doing? Oh, I'm drinking tip tops because I can't be asked to refreeze yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> it's when your freezer breaks and you've got to cook all the food in your house oh, oh, yeah. fuck I good day that is <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what's for dinner bits of what's fucking that? everything bits of this and bits of that 
<laughs> you also put in the fish fingers. <laughs> parsley sauce with that, like. Oh, fucking, I love parsley sauce. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Bit of gammon. Oh. Oh, fucking parsley sauce is bloody. You years. just pull out cable up your ass. What the fuck was that? That's charging funny. with you. Me? Yeah. <laughs> I, found a bit, I, I found what I thought was a little bit of cell tape, but it's fucking half a meter. There's a lot of cell tape. It's a lot. Fucking. <laughs> oh, we so, we like, got what? taped up underneath there. <laughs> yeah. It's my little holiday home burner. And then I'm out every now and again. <laughs> oh, no, I think like they must have been more to it than they've stumbled upon you by the sounds of things. If people have had that fucking, the initials of that guy's nah. scratch. I reckon stuff. police are fucking chances, but they chance everything. They're like, oh, we'll have a go at this. And if we win, we get to tell everyone how good we did, you know? Yeah. We took down this little black metal Welsh band. Plus, they clearly knew you were in England, not being a Welsh nationalist. Yeah. Clearly isolated. Oh. And they sent seven people up to get you. Like, seven, I know. You know I mean? like, and then there was somebody sat in an office going, oh, he thinks he's clever. He hates <laughs> England. He, he wouldn't be hiding in England. <laughs> oh, there was one part where, like, Oh, they were, they were like, do you think English, like the average English person will find this funny? Yeah. And I went like, I don't know, maybe. And my solicitor so pipes up with, what's he meant to do, poll the whole of England? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, um, what did your family and stuff think about it? Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, God. And what was the backlash after? Like, what was... Yeah. <laughs> It was Nan tamping and like it <laughs> was, was, was fucking Christmas dinner really awkward. It, it, Nan Joe G, just, she was fucking cold. Nan was the one knitting the shirts. She bought him the books, but <laughs> Oh god. Um I remember like after coming home, like I remember just seeing my fiance just burst into tears. Because it was such a horrible experience to go through. Yeah. Yeah. And then like I didn't have a phone or anything. Yeah. So like, I had to like use a like. Luckily, that I keep a laptop. Like, because they were thinking like, oh, do you use it for uni work? Like, yeah, like I can keep it. I was like, okay. <laughs> luckily, and then like I had, a, I had like yeah, Facebook call like, <laughs> I had, like Facebook call like my parents and they like like oh what's up you sound really upset like oh I just, I've been arrested I'm like what have you been arrested for like, terrorism terrorism <laughs> terrorism <laughs> terrorism <laughs> like, <laughs> help me <laughs> straight away they think like Bin Laden I know oh, like, god. oh my god my son's fucking making bombs and shit <laughs> <laughs> my dad was just like I explained to him about the shirt and everything and he went well that's just stupid isn't it <laughs> yeah, that's a problem, Dad. Really, like, oh, that's just dull, isn't it? Right, but, and that's what most adults up. looking at that would should act on. Just like that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. My um, my stepbrother had to go to court for drink driving. My stepfather had that like attitude. He took him to court. He just parked up outside. He was like, "You coming in?" I was like, "Don't." I'll be there for. And then about five hours in, he was like, "Fuck, where is he?" <laughs> like, Dad, I nearly went to jail. You can't. What was, <laughs> what was I supposed to do? If I was uh, what do you want me to do? I, know, I yeah. just sat in where the spoons ordered my third meal of the day. <laughs> He's like, I nearly got done for drink driving. The amount of time I spent the spoons waiting for you, you fucker. <laughs> oh, just it's like it's just a stupid. Like looking back on it, it's the stupidest shit I think yeah. I've ever done in my life. Like make making a t shirt. Like at the same time, I'm like, it's just a t shirt. Yeah. And like, yeah. It, should, it should not have affected my life as much as it has. It should not be what people come up to me like black metal gigs go like, oh, you the guy who burned down the no, not burned down the shirt. <laughs> the caravan park. <laughs> it's all coming up now. <laughs> Are you the guy that made the shirt? I'm like, yeah, I made the shirt. And like, like oh, oh, that's just, that's, like, that's quite constant like, constant because it's yeah. exactly what I did when I saw you. It's like I made the shirt, yeah. <laughs> Like, if I meet people and, like, we start talking about, like, black, like UK black metal bands and I mention, like, I'm in a cell, they go, like, oh, you're the guy who made the t-shirt? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and then and one guy goes, oh, and you're, like, a Nazi. I'm like, no. 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 <laughs> Don't, that, that was a bit I, weird, I, that was. I, I, get, I get that all the time just because I've lost my hair. <laughs> <laughs> and you wear Doc Martin boots. Yeah. And I got a True. jersey with 88 on, except... Yeah. That you rolled your t-shirt that. sleeves up as well, to be fair. It looked, when I, I used to draw a lot, I used to oh, sign oh. my name with 88 at the end of it. And then my art teacher was like, What's the 88 for? I was like, See, I was born. He was like, Do you know that stands for Heil Hitler? That's where the fucking <laughs> Hell's Angels are. They've got 88 on his shirt. I was like, Oh, fuck. Uh, shall I change oh, it? I'll it's change up it to, to you. <laughs> I'll change it. I'll change it to 1488 then. Uh, like, shall I change it? Like, it's up to you. I was like, mm-hmm. Do you think I should? He's like, I can't confirm more than I. It's up to you. <laughs> fuck. So, Coming back to all of this as well, did like anything like Nick, like did like you get fired or anything like that? Was like anything else brought up? Like you didn't think would have like happened? Do you know what I mean? Um, I didn't tell my employers basically. Yeah. Was like 
it's, it's, it's like, I, I didn't get charged. I was like, oh, I'm not going to tell anyone anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 Okay. I did, and someone but, come up to him in front of his buzz, eh? You're the guy with the shirt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but after the charges were dropped, like I took, like I started a new job, and like my boss is in the black metal. Oh yeah. So like, I, like I told I told her about oh, it, and she's like, what "The fuck." <laughs> <laughs> I'll bleep out your real name, there, bud. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, just like everyone I took because, like, obviously, like because it went on for so long, like they had my stuff, and like I didn't know what was going to happen, and then I found out it was called the Crown Prosecution Service. I was like, "Shit!" Like I might actually have to go to court. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I like I was doing really bad in work, and people like my supervisor, like, oh, like what's up? And so I had to like basically tell them, and so like, look, and you're like not tell anyone. Like, they thought it was hilarious <laughs> that I got done. That I was getting done for a t-shirt, but they were like, like, are you okay? Like, no, I'm not. Like, oh, no, no. I like, might be going to jail. <laughs> I might be going to jail. T-shirt. It's like the it's like a minimum year sentence or like a fine Fuck, yeah. based on like a year of like my wages or something. Luckily, as a black metal artist, I earn fuck all. Exactly. Yeah. It'd be £4.50, like the payoff months. Yeah. Yeah. As a black metal artist, I'm always in the negative in my account. <laughs> pretty, pretty much. Corpse paint and t-shirt printing is very expensive. <laughs> well, it's, it's, I was going to make a joke there, but I couldn't. Yeah, go on. Do I can bleep we'll, it out. We'll, I can bleep it out if it's bad. The gasoline's expensive as well, like. <laughs> <laughs> all all yeah. this fucking pseudocreme for the burns on my hands. <laughs> <laughs> oh, class. Out. No, oh, they took, cash. like... Oh, God. Sorry. They took, like, I had a book on called Welsh Freedom Fighters, which goes on about, like, um... I don't think it's got my drink of doing it, but it's got, like, the people... You know, like, the Trueden Valley? Yeah. No. Like, the... Go on. Uh, Trueden Valley... Um, it, before that it was Capel Kellen, like yeah. the little village got basically oh, the they wanted to make a reservoir, one, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, they wanted to make the reservoir for that, and like these guys, like in the books, the part I got up to anyway, I finished reading it because they took it off me. <laughs> like they bombed a generator, so like there'd be no power to like finish the dam's construction. Yeah. Okay. And then the police like gave me back my book and went, Oh, it was a really good read, by the way. And they went, I wouldn't know, I haven't finished it. <laughs> you stole my book. You stole my book. Uh, that should be a new next t-shirt that was Flood your Local Village. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it was like for people who don't know, like this village, like they I think they found out from like the reporters coming up to them and saying, like, how do you feel about this happening? People just went, What the fuck do you mean? What? Yeah, like a lot of people didn't know, did they? <laughs> no. Because this was back in Oh, the 50s, I think. Mm. Yeah, because yeah. didn't they offer some people payouts for other people? They just didn't offer anything. They just didn't tell. Uh, like. It's, right. like, mad. And then, obviously, it, like, went to, like, um, Parliament to vote on. Like, every yeah. Welsh MP, except for, I think it was two or three, voted against it. Mm-hmm. A few That's abstained from it, but they they still flooded the valley, which yeah. is, like, a big, like... That's why you got, like, um Corvuch Druerin, like, the wall painted up in North Wales, mm-hmm. like, remembered yeah. Druerin. Because yeah, like just lucky it's just it mad that yeah. something like that was ever like allowed to happen. Mm. Mm. They should have done it to Mardi. <laughs> like, <laughs> see if you're gonna if you're gonna flood a shitty village, they should have done it to Mardi. <laughs> <laughs> that would, uh, that would, if I was if I if I was a Welsh MP, I'd be like, look, I'm against this other village. But if you're gonna flood one, I suggest Mardi. We need really deep in the water, last really long, and yeah, everything. I've made my own sketch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got all these plans. Yeah, draw on that. We only need to sign it off. <laughs> it's all done for you, but I'll, I'll, I'll help build the walls. <laughs> but um, <laughs> yeah, oh that that um. A reservoir on about you can still see the fucking um the ruins and stuff. Yeah, and the water gets low, can't it? Mm. It's, it's a fucking insane thing to do, isn't it? And it's um so Emma Sue Ellen, um, the man who bombed the dam to help save the village, um, was sentenced to twelve months in prison, which would have been the same time that you would have got for making for, for t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. You may as well have burned them. <laughs> the oh, fuck? Jesus Christ. I don't know. They just flooded a village, but Yeah. So, so, yeah, they so just the flooded a village. You divide around 12, but so a fine half the fucking wage of a year. <laughs> yeah, so the government flooded 12 houses, a school, a chapel, and a post office, and they probably got a hell of a lot of money for it. You blow up a dam or print a t-shirt, 12 months in prison. Yeah, God, I'm mad. I'm not saying that's acceptable, like... Like you're blowing up a generator and trying to blow up a dam. Someone else usually would like twelve months. Mm. That's... 
if it was the two, <laughs> sorry, if, if it was if it was the flood of village or burn some holiday homes, which one would you choose? <laughs> God forbid he ever makes a T-shirt about bombing our generator. Like <laughs> <laughs> he doubled his prison. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be the name of my punk band. It's gonna be called fucking Generator Bombers. <laughs> Gen Bombers. <laughs> Gen Bombers. <laughs> Oh, it's fucking there. hell. The world is fucked up. Fuck There's up. so much more worrying things out there that people need to be concerned about other than what somebody has put on a fucking t-shirt. In there. It's like, I was saying to the police, like, oh, you got, like, a shirt saying, like, kill all men, which, like, you can buy pretty much in so many different shops. Yeah. There's a shirt where, I can't remember which band it was, where they had, like, someone had, like, chopped off Trump's head. Oh, that's right. not that. It's yeah, the municipal, it's municipal waste, waste. Fucking yeah. Fucking blowing his own brains out. Oh, that, surely, that was it, yeah. That, surely they're just going after fucking bands that can't pay for good solicitors. Because if they, you know, technically, if you got a picture of a world leader blowing his own brains out, that's yeah. the same thing. Surely you're yeah. inciting violence on that. <laughs> yeah. That's what I was saying to them. I was just like, like, there's so many, like, much, probably worse things, like murder and, like, stuff like that. Like, yeah. I'm, getting, I'm getting done for, like, that's a parody t shirt, essentially. Literally. Mm. And that, that's why it's a grey area and you shouldn't really like try to like fucking <clears throat> make laws for this, you know what I mean? Like it's 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 too subjective for everyone, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like my it's... sister was saying, like under e I think it was EU law, like technically it would be like a free speech issue. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's 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 an interesting one. Free speech has gone down the fucking pan in the UK. We, there is no such thing anymore. No, this this is not get... No. You can get arrested for, you know, sharing memes sharing on memes. fucking Facebook. Well, that fucking old guy has gone to jail for 12 months for fucking... So you just give 12 months to every cunt, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that, that guy's just gone to jail for 12 months for fucking a Facebook post, isn't it? Is it? About, about, the, about the police or something. Oh, fuck it. I've seen all the uproar on that online. No, I've not seen any of that. Um, he put a post up saying, like, used to, the police used to police and now they're just fucking pigs or something like that. It was, it was, oh, wasn't he he done like, that. Yeah, he's gone to jail for 12 months. I know there was, um, I think it was around the same time, like, I got arrested, like, maybe like a year before something. Mm. This girl had posted, like, a, um, a memorial picture on Instagram about, like, some kid who got, like, killed or whatever. Mm. Caught uh, from a song, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Weird, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, and she got like a hate, like hate crime charge. Yeah, yeah. so it was. I think it's fucking, mad. It was her boyfriend that died, and she posted a picture of him and lyrics to his favorite rap song that had a certain powerful word in it. Um, and it was quoted. You know, it was a quote from a yeah. song, and she still went to prison for it for quoting a song on social mad, media. Yeah. Well, to take it back to like Count Dankula, uh, I I saw him get interviewed by Sky News. Uh, outside of the court when he got away with it all um because uh, like you were saying gray areas if yeah. if you can like there's kind of a precedence that if it's comedy you know it's well, like because yeah. because then you got to fucking arrest michael mcintyre you know if yeah. spread and stuff like that but um he was saying oh it's all about context and then the sky news reporter says oh don't you think that it's grossly offensive though to quote, like, oh, gas the Jews and burn the Jews and stuff. And he said, under the exact same law, you should be arrested now because yeah. you yeah. just publicly said, said exactly it. the same. I was arrested. I remember seeing that, yeah. 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 And I was just saying, like, in my pants clapping, I was like, oh, get him, dunk. <laughs> get him, dunk. <laughs> now, now show me some mad lads. Did you ever see what he did with the, um, because they got another pug? Did you see what he taught that pug to do? Oh, <laughs> no. Fucking hell. Uh, the pug was, um, blast, so he teached te te oh. te te it to do the black power salute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It is uh, funny. Oh, uh, yeah, man. Like, Just rather pay patience to teach a dog that is worth the pay off. Oh, uh, yeah. If you're a dog like mine, it's just you need to teach it to go outside for piss. Like, I bet his missus is tamping about that, though. Do you know what I mean? Like, two dogs he's spoiled now. <laughs> <laughs> two dogs he's spoiled. <laughs> well, you can't bring them dogs anywhere, though, without being like, oh, do you want to see his trick? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> boys, 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 watch my dog can do it. Like, I know watching what that dog can do at all. I remember that past time. <laughs> do you reckon that's why he done it? Because, like, he can't do it in public, but the dog can't. Well, He's got fucking arrested. Can you imagine if you had, so imagine if you had a fucking parrot, but the stuff a parrot would be saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, my friends and I used to have a parrot, but they're the funniest animal in the world. Do you reckon a parrot could be used in a court of law? Yeah, fuck yeah. Right. 
hundred percent. Because they think power, like they, they reckon Birds are said, yeah, don't they? They they just repeat what they've heard. So yeah. like, my friend's nan's partner. Every time the phone would ring, he'd go hello, hello, hello. I didn't see him on the phone getting really pissed off with partner because he tried to have a conversation. And partner's in the ear going hello, hello, hello. And then every time my friend Kieran would come downstairs, he'd go Kieran, you're not going out, you're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine you know, killing someone thinking you're going to with it and you come into court and there's a fucking bird just sitting on the board you're like what the fuck is this <laughs> and you go can you point to him kill him and he just fucking yeah. points you <laughs> he said he fucking hates him and he beat him to death with an armor <laughs> wow you'd hate birds forever wouldn't you yeah. <laughs> imagine Man. you sat in a prison cell like I was swinging out and I fucking kill our bird Oh, you getting a fucking cracker Polly's getting a crack in Polly's yeah. getting a fucking yeah. stretch neck <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Mad. Gents. What a fucking life, though. Fuck yeah. Are you going to use this to capitalise on any more music, then? Um, well, when I got arrested, like, I had an album that was, like, going to come out in, like, a month or two after, like, after I made the post. Like, I got arrested, like, two days after. Yeah. Mm. Then, um... It's the fucking publicity stunt. You meant for all this time, I didn't know. <laughs> people were looking at their old jail times like, oh, I only get 12 months. <laughs> but people were saying like, oh, what were they saying? This is, people thought it was like, like me lying about Yeah. Uh, and like, uh, like, about like, and then like, I was like, I, I can't post like the pictures of stuff. I got like, I was telling Dylan about this. I got a souvenir from it. I got a sticker on the side of my computer case saying like, evidence of like North Wales police <laughs> <laughs> it's mad but 50 cent got shot nine times and now we got a friend and made a t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's people like commenting on like when I was posting about it like the band page saying like oh I gotta cling to this this is the closest to second wave black metal I'm ever gonna get <laughs> <laughs> the elitists like the black metal elitists and then someone said, like, oh, like, it would have bothered me so much if his music wasn't shit. I'm like, hold on, hold on. Oh, no, oh, no. I will do 12 months or so I'm of my wage. <laughs> oh, oh just, like, it was a mad time in my life. Like, I'm glad, like, it's over. I fucking bet. Like, <laughs> now, looking back at it, it's really funny. Yeah. yeah you've Are you looking at look building a cabin in the woods then and doing a vag, like? Uh, loading mad videos to YouTube with different Kung Fu in the field like uh, I used to love his videos like I think he's an idiot like, he, like but his videos used to make me laugh yeah he's uh, he's fucking headshot are you? oh well yeah <laughs> <laughs> he's, <stuck. laughs> he's fucking, fucking shit under state under the sentry but like yeah you fucking bard he is yeah <laughs> the combat boots up doing karate kicks in the field like fuck yeah. like, oh. and then show you how to play like black metal riffs in a fucking shack so when <laughs> Guy. Like, right. there's so many worse bands out there than me so I'm like why has no one else like ever been questioned yeah, or arrested yeah. like there's even like a Welsh I can't remember the name of it to save my life but there was a Welsh um, national socialist black metal band yeah mm-hmm. the music was awful so I turned it off but Welsh but, like he, he never like he never got questioned for like putting a swastika on an album cover or whatever <laughs> That's right. Like that's what we were asking earlier on, though. Like th- there must have been something that happened around the same time for him to start looking for that stuff, like the caravan stuff. Yeah, that's I, right. could, I couldn't find anything. Like I looked. Oh, you couldn't find anything about that, could you? So no, they could have just been telling porkies. Yeah, it's fucking some arsehole just complaining online, and I reckon they're just doing it to stop and yeah, whinging at the police. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's just mad. Like yeah, it helped album sales in the end. <laughs> like, I don't think any publicity is good like... publicity, you know? <laughs> yeah, fuck guy. <laughs> Like, and obviously, like, too many people aren't upset by it, because, like, when we played our first gig back in March, um, people were coming in, like, wearing, like, the T-shirts. So it's like, obviously, no one really gives a shit. Yeah. yeah. No. In the real world, like, no one really cares as much as they do on the internet, you know? it's mm. Everyone's mm. got the lens of no real repercussions when they say things online. And, you know, it doesn't take much for someone to... <laughs> It doesn't uh, matter what you were into. There is always people out there that are just willing to lose their shit over what you were doing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I meant the cars and motorbikes, and I have had, like... I had one guy... So, when I was building my bike, I asked a question on a forum about... Um, so, you can have daytime MOTs or just a normal MOT. So, obviously, a daytime MOT, you're only allowed to use your bike in the day. So I was asking like rules on daytime MOT because I was out, I was struggling with wiring. 
for the lights on my bike. And this guy just started messaging me straight away, private messaging, not even like in the comments. And he was like, it's people like you that get bikers killed and give us a bad name. And like, what the fuck are you on? It's not just someone who just like, they fucking just don't talk to the kids anymore. Fucking yeah, no just, friends because they're I, just so insufferable and they just I, fucking bip at people online. Yeah, no, that's the only contact they get. Like, he was like, my head is fucked. I've done like five tours of Iraq. I went fucking four. And I was like, I, fucking... I live in a fucking valley, but I was like, I live in a valley. Good luck. Yeah, fucking rain so I went on his Facebook page and he was just <laughs> all his photos were just of him like sitting on tanks and stuff so he was a genuine lunatic <laughs> but I was like it's over in the oh you could just be like the mechanic you know what yeah, I mean like, like, <laughs> yeah a little photoshopped <laughs> he was the chef that you should bring him along everywhere yeah. I was um, like this is over indicators like if I get hit <laughs> off my bike and kill because I haven't got indicators and that's fair enough but why are you somebody I've never met in my fucking life losing your mind because I don't want to put indicators on my bike like mm. get fucked like what is the matter with you I just remembered like one of the guys who complained about like how like I wasn't racist enough yeah <laughs> he asked for he asked for a refund <laughs> what <laughs> And I just, oh. I just went, no, like, that's not how this works, buddy. Like, you know, well, that's what he put in on his like, returns form. It's like, I want my money back for his t-shirt because it's not racist enough. Yeah, it's like a two out of ten, not enough well, racism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, definitely one recommend. Yeah. Fucking. Too fucking inclusive gosh. when refund me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that, that PayPal dispute's going to go really well, isn't it? <laughs> not, yeah, not, enough, not enough hate speech. Uh, fuck me. Yeah, the world is fucked, please. That's pretty funny. The world is oh. fucked. Thing is, right, it wasn't that long ago where you could say these things and do these things and it would be found as funny or. Yeah. It is really funny, or, isn't it? <laughs> Come on. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Like, that is the, the fucking. T-shirt. The long yeah. shot of it is, it is such a fucking bullshit reason for well, potentially having your fucking life ruined. Yeah. Over fuck all, but it is so much more in the world where you can get upset and angry about. Mm. Oh, police I just think... need to be doing real police jobs I think yeah <laughs> well my solicitor compared it to um, do you remember the Grenfell Tower incident like years and years yeah, like, yeah. oh yeah there was a guy that made um like a barbecue or whatever he made an effigy of the Grenfell Tower and burned it <laughs> oh, yeah shit. I think I remember seeing something about yeah, that yeah, so yeah. they took like, they took up the court and like he got done for hate speech or whatever and he's like no mm. I'm fighting this like he kept taking it up to court, court and eventually got dropped and he gets free speech like he's allowed to do it like it's yeah. very offensive like at the end of the day, what has he done? Yeah, um, yeah. there's no anybody doing that. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's just somebody capitalizing on a fucking shit situation, though, wasn't it? Yeah, but there's so, a guy. There's a guy on TikTok earlier. that was just fucking flicking through, and he had these two big Lego towers, and he threw an airplane at them. He was like, "See, towers don't cr- towers don't crumble; they fall over." And I was like, <laughs> "Fucking hell! Someone's gonna get in trouble for that!" Like, yeah. Um, I also think it's to do with the police, like. They've got to hit the court and like they've got to try to arrest as many people or like try to find and make as much money as they can. So they just try to get as many people as they can, hoping most yeah, people won't fight. They'll yeah. just get scared and just comply. You know what fucking I mean? Fucking hell, Spats. What do you think they get bonuses and stuff, too? Yeah, they literally no, fucking is. do. That's, true. That's literally <laughs> what they do. <laughs> like, oh, I'm in my target this month. So I need to take out the terrorists. <laughs> That's literally how the police works, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, All the drug dealers have been read in. Now i got to find a terrorist to add yeah, to my collection. They've got to meet like... a certain amount of arrests a month tonight or something. I'm sure they got well, did you? Yeah, but all of uh, there was some guys in the FBI. Uh, oh fuck! My signals dropped. Oh no, no, I didn't mean like that. But like, yeah, they've got to wait a quarter. Do you know what I mean? Oh no, there were some guys in the FBI in America who were like an anti-terrorist division, and they would get fucking huge bonuses every time they fucking arrested a terrorist. So what they were doing was like getting stupid people, talking to them, and eventually like convincing them to come up with these plots. And the FBI were, like, supplying them with the materials to do it. That's like entrapment, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, and they were doing it for ages. And like, that? Oh, yeah, it's like that fucking... There was another story, when it? It was with a female police officer in America who pretended to be this, like, fucking college dude's boyfriend. And, like, yeah. kept on asking him to buy weed off him. And then he finally cracked and I bought weed to give her. And then she arrested him after a couple of weeks, like. And oh, I was like, God. fucking oh. pure entrapment, like. That's mental. Oh. <laughs> The guy, have you heard the thing with Holly Willoughby? The TV presenter. Oh, yeah, didn't she like, get threatened to get kidnapped or something mad? There was a WhatsApp group, golly. Oh, was it? Yeah, <laughs> of um, 
a bunch of guys whose kinks are like that their fantasy is of like capturing celebrities and then like planning their tortures and stuff like oh, that. Oh fuck you know. What the fuck? Yeah, and he was a security guard and his WhatsApp chat that got leaked or something and um yeah, police raided his house. They found equipment to do it, but his argument was, oh, it's just a kink of mine. I wasn't really going to do it. And well, I, would you buy everything then? Yeah, I think he ended up with something mental, like a suspended sentence. But they had, like, what he, like, wait, I think, I don't know how much this is true, but I think, like, where he said he was going to, like, tie her up and then, like, sexually assault her and then chop into bits and burn her. I think they found all the evidence oh, of, like, tying her up, raping her. Cutting at the bits and burning. I think they found all that evidence, but because he hadn't actually attempted it or anything, he was just like, "Yeah, it's just like a fantasy." It's like I think he was like comparing it to like Dungeons and Dragons. This is just like, you know, it's not real. It's, 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 it? it's just like a bit of a fucking <laughs> fantasy play thing that we do in this group chat. Like, you know, what have we done so wrong? Nobody's got hurt. But I think like that was the grey area, and I'm sure he had like a suspended sentence or a really low, like fucking. Prison time. If he had gone or fine, or it was fucking, it was mental. I should have made a T-shirt about it. We should make a bunch of kidnap Holly Willoughby T-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we coming to get you, Holly. <laughs> and then, like, arrested. <laughs> the, the fucking Jill Dando thing back in the nineties was the fucking the guy that was obsessed with it. The police had like countless amounts of evidence. This guy was stalking. I think she'd like moved the dress and stuff and he just knocked her door and then fucking shot her straight in the head on her oh, Christ. That end, yeah, fucking documentary would come out as well, didn't it? And that fucking bloke looked like Tom Page with fucking went on a quest to fucking kidnap her, didn't he? But he got caught before. I think he killed himself beforehand, didn't he? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, have you seen yeah. the Bjork stalker one? Oh, that's the one. Not, not Enya, fucking Bjork. Bjork. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of them. Different person, same shit music. Yeah, man. Same vibe. <laughs> There is a there, there's yeah. a video of him with, wearing like a really tight dog collar and he's painted his head red. Yeah, and <laughs> he just blows his brains out on the video. Oh, I didn't anyway, see that bit. On that note, thank you for being <laughs> on the podcast, COVID. Oh, that's all right. Fuck yeah. Pleasure to be here. <laughs> nice one. Pleasure any, to talk to you. Uh, any more plugs? Any more albums or shows coming out? Or any new <laughs> t-shirts? <laughs> any new t-shirt? Um, just had a new album come out called Gogonian. Yeah. Um, if you want to check it out, it's on the Bandcamp, which is eselda.bandcamp.com. You can also find us on Spotify and YouTube and stuff like that. Uh, we got shirts for sale, CDs, cassettes, and caravans. Oh, caravans, yeah. Caravans. <laughs> He's for caravans. <laughs> Personalized petrol cans. <laughs> yeah, Personalized we'll like this would be a bit on the nose. Yeah. Yeah. We'll link up all your stuff in the on the podcast and everything. So thanks very much, man. Thank you. Nice speaking to you. Yeah, nice speaking to you guys as well.